Exactly. Hello, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Hi, Jimmy. This is Vince Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Vince. You don't sound your usual exuberant self today. The sorrow that you hear in my voice is real, Jimmy Dore. My heart is heavy. I've been devastated. They dare I say dismantled, wholly dismantled by the news that my friend Rush Limbaugh is battling cancer. Yeah, that, that's a heavy thing. You know, Jimmy, there's some people in your life <laughs> who shine so brightly... <laughs> They all those near them with the warm, soft light of humanity and seem to channel this pure, primordial form of love from the very heart of the universe itself that you just kind of think they're going to live forever. I mean, I, I, I know it's silly. I know it's silly, but, <clears throat> but you really do. I know what you mean, Vince. <laughs> I, I can't tell you what Rush means to Hollywood conservatives like me <laughs> and conservatives in general. I was in on the ground floor, just a young ditto head in the 90s full of piss and vinegar. <laughs> I, was, I was one of those guys who not only listened to Rush, but also talked about him all the time like a fucking psycho. <laughs> <laughs> we, would, we would all say, this guy's right. He's right. <laughs> And he's funny. It's good comedy. <laughs> Until we, you know, quietly abandoned that last assertion. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but he's grown in importance tenfold since then. Yeah. And that's because he represents a form of, of a conservative ideal, an archetype, a paragon. <laughs> yeah? What's that? A fat, balding man who largely built his career on mocking the looks of famous women. God bless you, young soldier. <laughs> yes, it's very admirable. I'm sorry for your future loss. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Big Daddy Rush ain't going out like no bitch. <laughs> He's going to fight this shit like he has fought the possibility of ever being close with another human being. <laughs> and from his icy realm of seclusion and solitude, he will emerge victorious. You know, I don't know, Vince. The, the diagnosis seems pretty grim. Jimmy Rush has amassed a giant fortune over the years by advocating the denial of health care to Americans. So he can now afford the best doctors money can buy. <laughs> And money can buy a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> I can only imagine. And if it seems like traditional treatments aren't working, Jimmy, we are prepared to go full-on fucking Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. I will personally travel to Nepal and walk around villages in snowy mountains searching for ancient cures and shit. <laughs> you have no idea the lengths I'm willing to go, the amount of absolute horseshit I'm willing to believe in to save this man's life. Vince, I have to say, I've never heard you so emotionally affected by anything before. <laughs> there is sadness, yet resolve. But also anger. A anger is normal. I mean... At comedians. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Not saying you. Not saying you, Jimmy. But I've seen a lot of people whose first instinct has been to make fun of this situation. And to those people, I say this. I am going to kick your fucking ass. <laughs> okay. What kind of a sick person would find this funny? would take glee from this, that this great man who was once so strong and brave that he called 12-year-old Chelsea Clinton a dog should now be so enfeebled. What this man is facing, how could you laugh at that? Him lying in pain in a hospital bed, hooked up to machines and IV. He needs to get a catheter changed so the nurse just exposes him to everyone in the room. <laughs> He's got that thing where if you've gained a lot of weight in life, your dick gets inverted and malformed, <laughs> and it's very difficult to find a hole. How is this funny to anyone? <laughs> 
He looks down. The nurse is young and attractive, and, 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 and has clearly never seen one of these situations before. She's new, and she's obviously trying to not laugh. He struggles to say it wasn't always like that, but he's too drugged up to talk. Is this a comedic situation somehow? Excuse me. Eventually, the nurse realizes she has to clean this whole thing out. Condoleezza Rice, who's there visiting him, has been staring in horror this whole time. She can't look away. Yeah, real hilarious, guys. Just super funny. I agree. No humor there. No humor. Thanks for being one of the good ones, Jimmy. I gotta go. Pray for Rush. Hey, come see a live Jimmy Dore show. We just added a show February 28th in Burbank, California. We're going to be in Tempe, Miami, Chicago. For all our live shows, for tickets, go to jimmydorecomedy.com and become a premium member at jimmydorecomedy.com slash join, and we give you hours of bonus material. Thanks for your support.